Hello guys, it's Mr. Alien C with the Alienware Alpha i3, and we're gonna upgrade the RAM in this unit today. It came with four gigabytes of RAM, and we're gonna upgrade it to eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, I heard they made this very easy. I've never taken apart a computer, but I'm gonna show you even a caveman like like me can do it. So we're gonna unbox the RAM here. I just got this. And uh, what I went with for RAM is the Corsair Vengeance, 8 gigabytes. okay? So if this works out, which I believe it should, it's supposed to be pretty simple, you'll, you're going to be able to uh, pick some up and do the upgrade yourself if you choose to. So here's what they look like. They're kind of a more fancy looking RAM stick, um, else they're just flat gray sticks. You see that in high-end computers. So what we got here is our Alienware Alpha i3. There's supposed to be four screws on the back. So I see them. They're really down there though. Honestly, my screwdriver ain't gonna reach in there. So give me just a second. Long neck screwdriver here. And uh, this is the i3 we're working on with uh, four gigabytes of RAM in it currently. Let's get started. So when you got the right tool, it unscrews very easily. Look at that. Got our first one out. Oh, no, we don't. Alan and Weir made this a breeze for even a caveman to do it. Hope Geico doesn't get mad that I'm using their little terminology. I'm hoping that these Vengeance Corsair uh, Ram sticks fit because they're a little fancy. I don't know if there's room in there for all that. We'll see in a minute. All right, so we got that off. Here comes the here comes the big moment where we rip this thing into pieces. Yeah, this is really monumental for me. I'm not really. I've never really taken this apart, so I'm a little nervous because it ain't exactly popping open like I had hoped but once I figure out the way we will oh there you go you just pull well the bottom wants to come off it looks like there we go the top what you do is just go from the sides and go up now the top comes off and the bottom comes off to access the hard drive it's on the bottom but all we want to do is access the uh, RAM cards. So what I'll do is this top fan, it's going to be loose in there. At least I was told. Oh, okay, you push these two little sticks here together and this fan will come upward. And you just set that off to the side. Oh my gosh. These are not going to fit. Um, Because look, this is the size... <laughs> This is the size that the Alienware Alpha uses. Very small. See these little cards? That's where the RAM goes. It just plugs in there. But I don't think this is quite going to fit in that little slot. Do you? So uh, I'll make another video when I get the right size. And I'll do an install for you. We'll put this back together quick. But this is where the RAM goes. You can put it right in here. These these prongs, you push them out, and they pop out, and uh, they lift upwards. You can slide them right in there. So we'll get this top back on, and then on the bottom, I'll show you the hard drive. The hard drive is located right here. You just push forward to make it loose and then you remove that screw and you can pop the hard drive off and replace it with any size you like. That's how easy Alienware has made it. So all we need to do now is put the screws back on, drop them down that hole, they automatically line up. Put it back in.
Never want, never want to hear a snapping noise. And then uh, we're almost done here. But that's how easy it is to do it yourself, guys. I'm going to get and do a little research, get a link to the correct RAM cards. And, uh, oh, that ain't good. And put a link in the video description for you where you can pick them up. Excellent. So we're back to square one. And uh, if these RAM cards have been the right size, we would have just popped them in and been all set. But we're going to have to uh, do an order and try again with those RAM cards. We'll be upgraded to 8GB sooner or later. Thanks, guys. It's been Mr. Allen C. Please give this video a thumbs up. Support the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. Feel free to ask questions in the comment box.